already here. You're always here way before me. <laughs> okay, let me scroll on up. <clears throat> Hi, you cat. Hi, you Kenny. Benita. Shannon. Wilson. Angela. <laughs> Benita, I think I said Benita, but I'll say it again. Casey, uh, Louise, Becca, Connie, Shell. Hi, you lovelies. How are you all doing? I hope you're all okay. Wilson, have you frozen like a popsicle over there in your minus 30s? <laughs> oh my god. That was me moaning my head off about minus three. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, I don't know how I could do it. Hi, you hazel-eyed girl. Hi, Ashley, Pamela, Kirsty. Good afternoon, lovelies. Hi, you Robin and Patty. Hi, you Della. I was just about to call you so cow. <laughs> I was like, uh, what? <laughs> so cow, so cow. Della. Hi, you Debbie. <laughs> Hi, everyone coming on in. Okay, so I don't know why what, what possessed me. My mum possessed me actually. Uh, my mum was like, Sam, Sam, yes mum, so she's watching by the way, mum is watching, she's got a laser surgery tomorrow on her other eye because she's really struggling to see, so big wishes to mama, mama bear, um, but mum wanted me to do this today, so I printed myself off some reference pictures, and I don't know if I'm going to do this justice, but we'll have a go, so <clears throat> I kind of i'm looking there's quite a lot of blues a few bits of beiges there's whites there's like i don't know if you can see that but these are off um pix art which is a free site but look at the pictures of them so i'm gonna have a little go at this hi you pebbles hi you color me calm with hells <laughs> hi everyone coming on in okay so, we're going to have a go at this today. What I have been up to is, I'm going to be making, oh well, I'm not going to be making, I'm going to be sending out a bunch of cards, uh, not all in one go, but some, I can't show a couple of them because they're, uh, whoops, they are personalised for a certain somebody that's having a certain little baby. <laughs> but I have made a bunch of cards <clears throat> to send out to people this year. Uh, just because I want to and it's also a little thank you and some of them's going to say send in a smile like this I've got stamps and some of them are going to say um, thank you it, it all depends so I've been making a courtesy of Shannon who else going to be linked in the description after my stream but Shannon shows you how to do these because she's so clever but I've made a bunch of these with a 12 by 12 piece of card and I literally sat there one day and I did so many to keep myself occupied so, <clears throat> Shannon, thank you, my love. I loved doing them. I've done a bunch of them now to send out to peeps this year. So I was like, okay, let's get this show on the road with these cards. So go check out Shannon. My um, my chat has disconnected. I'm going to have to have you on my phone. Oh, no, it's back. It's back. Yes, lots of cards. Lots of cards for lots of people because, well, there's so many people. But I genuinely just want to get around to sending out this year. <clears throat> and I received this lovely little card as well. Ah, uh, yeah, there are some nice papers. Uh, from Sue, Melody's sister Sue. I won't read the inside, but I have to show you the outside because it's gorgeous. Um, so she sent me this little card that she made. And it's all bits of washi tape again. She's so cute. So I got that. So thank you so much, Sue. I have messaged her. It's so cute. <laughs> and then, just to show you, there is a new set. Not to like, you know, just because why not start off a um, a live stream by not showing you something new. So this is the new Dia de la, de la Muertos, is that how you say it? Which is the, um, I think it's the Festival of the Dead, is that right? Uh, and these are a set of three over on Etsy by Mystic Art Mirrors. So go check that out. I think, it's, is it the Festival of the Dead? You're going to have to help me out. My Spanish is no good. It's no good. Um, okay, one minute, one minute. Hiya, Suze. Hiya, Debbie. Anyone else I missed? Andrea, hello, my loves. Okay, so I thought today I will use super colours. Does that sound okay? 
the Day of the Dead. Ah, oh, festival. Okay, I was thinking festival, but it is a festival, isn't it, that they, they carry out. Day of the Dead. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's such a big thing over there, isn't it? It's an actual festival that they, they celebrate, which I think is so nice. Um, I've seen all the masks and the and the street festival with all the the it looks like skeletons but it's not but you know what I mean and all the face paint. Hi Emily. Yeah, I thought so. I know sometimes I do have some information stuck in my brain. I just got to pluck it out. Okay, so talking of this, I'm gonna do it in super colours and I'm gonna have my reference over here just because uh, I need it and. I'm going to watercolour base before I put any big uh, details in. Now, I'll have to bring you down and I'll bring you in. So we'll start off over here, I think, um, <clears throat> and I'll see how I get on with sitting today. Hello, display. Hi, Dee. Hi, everyone. Yes, I love Coco. <laughs> um, but yes, I need to figure out some colours. So this is for mum, because mum was like, please, Sam, because she loves them. Please, would you please do it? And I was like, oh, I'm not quite sure. And she was like, oh. so in the end I did. <laughs> so mum won. Um, so I'm looking at some tones over here. Actually, I'll bring you up for a second. Um, so there's like steel grey, blush pale, uh, dark grey, mouse grey, those types of greys. Um, we've got a silver grey as well, which is going to come in handy. But then there's also some like creamy colour. So I'm going to go for light ochre. Um, it's also a slight hazy purple. So maybe. Oh, that's a nice one. Ultramarine violet. I'm just grabbing a bunch of colours, not necessarily going to use them all sepia. Then there's also some like, I don't know if you can see, but if you go to the fur, it's it's like a very light beige, um, like a mixture of light flesh um, and 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 maybe I'm oh, just having a look. I'm I'm talking out loud. Maybe some dark flesh and maybe some Naples ochre. So we'll we'll have a little look. Okay. Have you seen the videos of the water? Yes, right. Shannon's gonna do a video all about which pencils are doing that tomorrow. So if you go sub to Shannon to oh, ow, that was my head. <laughs> ow. Um, <laughs> She's going to be doing a video about that. Oh, who has purple hair? I had purple hair once and I hated it. <laughs> I love it, but I hated it on me. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <clears throat> so we won't worry about hitting myself on the head. Uh, yeah, that, that did not happen. But, so I've picked out a bunch of colours. I'm not going to use them all, but I've just picked a bunch out. I oh, know, don't worry about me. <laughs> Oh dear, you know one of those days, yeah. But um, I did sit and do it. Shannon had me on a mission last night, and I did have a look. And do you know what ones run as well? Sergeant Art Supremes. <laughs> yeah, I want a helmet. <laughs> Are you Debbie? Debbie M. Oh, no one here. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, because no one's protected me over here. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm going to look at where I want to put colours down. I'm just looking at the face of this little chap. Right, so it is literally going to be one of those things that I'm going to have to do, like, do some on the, should it show on the paper? I don't think I need the board yet. Yeah, it is lovely. <laughs> it is lovely. It's a lovely book. Okay. So, first off, I'm going to be using Light Flesh 10%, which is in the, um, I don't know if you can see, oh, it's not going to focus, there we go, Light Flesh 10% 542, it is a super colour soft, so they are a watercolour pencil, and I'm going to be going around places that I think beige will come, because it is very beige-like, and at first you're not going to see much, is the lighting okay on your screens? So it's going to be, do you want me to come in a little bit more? Hey, Zeely. 
Is that better? Okay, so I'm just looking at my reference picture. There's a lot of beige, which has got to go a little bit darker as well anyway. So I'm going to put a fair amount of pressure because this is going to be water activated first. This is going to be a wing it one because I'm just looking at my um, reference picture. I'm also going to put dark flesh 50 around the ear. Um, so we're going to go in with the light flesh, dark flesh. I might have to turn that down just a touch so you can see it. Is that better? Hi everyone coming on in. I haven't seen everyone so I'm going to just say a big blanket hello and I hope you're good and well and safe. Okay, so I'm going to try and do my like where the colours are going down. So this is Dark Flesh 50 and I'm going to be using it all super. so when they're wet um, I'll let them dry and I'll go with dry pencil on top. So it's got a little bit more of a darker tone around there, also around here, I just want to put them in. I, I go a bit all over the place with my pencils, yeah, <laughs> oh we're wimps. With the likes of Wilson is in minus 30, so we're wimps. Minus 2 is nothing. Oh, you're watching The Last Kingdom, Ray. Dad watched that, I think. He did watch them all. That's on Prime, right? I think. Okay, so I'm just going to go with my dark flesh first. Go back to my light flesh. So we're just going to try and put down a base and work on top. Because it's quite a large area, this. Let's see how I get on on stream. Oh, Netflix. I can't remember. I think it's on our Prime. Yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> That's how I do it. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> okay. So I think there's some under here. So it's, it seems like that lighter tone is under here as well. So I'm just going on a reference picture at the moment. And I'm going to put in some colours before I do anything. So down there, um, we also have it underneath this bit. Okay, then I'm going to bring in a grey. So I'm going to bring in a steel grey. So we've got light flesh, dark flesh 50 and steel grey. So they have these grey tones and these beige tones. And I'm not going to make them muddy together because they don't need to. Okay, so I'm going to have that come over here as well. I remember on my first lay down, we're just planning colours. Plus, I've got to activate them with water. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, try my understand stage for kittens. says, shows, fingers always cold. I know, my hands have been freezing. No, oh, thanks, Angela. <laughs> Hiya Jan, <laughs> from over there, I hope it's all well and good over there, okay I'm going to go for some grey, I'm just going to go in the darker parts, so it's got a blue tint to this, um, so we're going to go for that over here as well, oh I can't wait to activate and then go from there, um, so it's got more of a darker tint towards this, now some of them don't have the blue tint or the uh, grey tint, some of them is more like a very pale grey and then very beigey tones but some of them have more of a blue um, so I'm going to just try and see which route I want to go down it's not got to be right, it can be mine <laughs> oh. uh, I find them all quite intimidating oh no, it's cold <laughs> We have had uh, minus three yesterday and we've still got snow down. Mr. Chip likes it. But I must say I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not. And I know I'm a wimp. I'm a wimp. I'm not a fan though. Kind of, I like the snow to look at. I don't like the temperature that comes along with it because it means it's cold. And I'm like, no, <laughs> go away. But don't forget we work in Celsius as well over here. Okay, so I'm going to pick up bluish pale. And that's going to come into that grey here. So you can see like blue tint in that. 
and I'm going to bring that underneath as well. Now I don't want to add too much of this and don't forget once I activate I can actually wipe away some of the pigment if I think it's too much. Uh, so I'm just going to just see how I feel about this and then start adding to it as I go along. Okay so there's a little bit of a bluish tint around by the beige. So I'm just going to put the bluish pale there. There's quite a few colours that goes on in these snow leopards. Oh, too many. I'm going to go for some of that bluish tint there. There's also some that comes on the top here. Again, they're all slightly different, so I'm just going to go off reference pictures I've got in front of me. Ooh, even my virtual guess it's for teachers that are in school virtual teacher. <laughs> yeah. I am using super colours, yeah. I'll put what I use in the description. Oh, nice. Yeah, I kind of, hi, Adri. Um, I kind of felt for super as soon as I looked at this picture. I said to mum, I'm feeling, I'm not, this was mum's choice. <laughs> oh, Alison, yeah, we all see things differently. What are you seeing? Tell me. What are you seeing? Um, so I'm going to go back to my uh, light flesh 10%. Um, but that's how our minds work. We all see differently, which is good. So tell me what, you look, what you're looking at. What you're envisioning. <clears throat> okay, so this is the light flesh. But I always say this difference makes the world go round, so I like to see what others do. I don't like, you know, I think it would be such a boring world if we all thought the same. And I certainly would love to see a picture coloured a million different ways than all one. Yeah, bless her, she's like, please do it, Sam. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> okay, dark flesh, 50. So just the same colours as what we've been using. I'm going to go around. And then there is some slight, like, beigey tones. Again, that's going to come and follow this guy around here. So I'll activate this first, and then we'll start adding. <clears throat> oh, Alison. Well, if you had a vision, and you could... Put it to your page could you envision it or do you find that part difficult at all times me i'm using a reference as well so he's got a lot of like blue tints and um he's got beiges and browns coming here and yeah lots of different things so we're just going to start off light and work from there because <clears throat> I can always add, find it hard to take away, so we'll start off with that. Okay, I'm going to go back to my dark flesh. He has this uh, big sort of tint coming around the E. It might just be basing today. Uh, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Breaths, yeah, they do help. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, Chip had his coat on the other day. I took him out, uh, I'll show you, I took him out yesterday morning. And uh, Mr. Sassy Pants loves the snow. And let me show you this. So, he loves the snow. <laughs> Seriously, he'd, he'd go in it all day if, if you let him. Loves it. He goes off. <laughs> he is a cute pie. He really is. Oh, and I finished my body colour. <laughs> so, did anyone else that's doing it? Are you new to finishing it, or are you taking your time? It's okay. We got until uh, we got until the end of the month before I decide on a new one. And if you wanted a new one, do you have anything particular in mind? Or is it something that you're like, ah, you choose again? Like, think of an artist rather than a book. OK, 
Okay, Grand of the Dark Flesh 50. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah, we had quite a lot. We did have quite a lot. I know he's got such a swishy towel, Shannon. That's the thing with him. That's why I call him sassy pants, because for a boy, he's so pretty. Uh, has anyone else got that in a dog, where they look at them and they just think, you're too pretty to be... Like, he looks like a female to me. You're too pretty to be a boy. Boys are handsome, you're pretty. <laughs> I was like, you're just too pretty. <laughs> Hi, good Peggy. Not that paper. One leaf left to do. Do you know how hard those leaves were for me? Uh, yeah, no, it was someone's buggy, I think. Um, someone had been pushing their buggy. Their stroller, what you call stroller. We call them buggies or prams. That was yesterday morning. He told me he wanted to go out at 8 o'clock and I was like, come on in. Let's go. I looked outside and I was like, whoa, when did this all fall? <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah, Benita. That is so sweet. But although you can rock a wheelchair, anyone, you know, anyone can make themselves look as beautiful as ever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pick up the next colour, which is going to be sepia 10%. I'm just going to add a little bit of that over the top of where I put that, like bluey grey. And I'm also going to bring some shading before I do anything else. You know, we've got this sort of like, it's this frown line, isn't it? So I'm going to put some of that sepia 10 in here. And then we're going to activate and see where we're at because obviously all the details are going to come from dry pencil. Well, if anyone ever did say that you're not pretty to be in a wheelchair, just run their feet over. And then say, hmm. <laughs> Words. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'd say, yeah, well, you know, it was needed. But um, what have you all been up to? I haven't spoken to you in a week. I know a lot of you joined in the February streams. I must admit, I watched them on the TV. So instead of sitting with my phone in my hand all day, I, uh, I haven't got like an iPad or anything. So I watched them on the telly, um, some of them on the telly. And then I was watching the chat rather than being, I can't, I wish I could talk to the telly to type. That would be fun, but that doesn't work, so I had to just watch. And I talk along with, with people every now and then. I'll answer you guys on there. <laughs> oh, Jan, we're doing a body colour in... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, it's from Symphony of Cute Animals. This one, I'm just going to bring you up just a touch. And we were doing this one. Um, so I finished it, and my God, what a lot of leaves. Ah, <sighs> sigh at the leaves. I loved this page. I didn't enjoy one, two, three, four, five. I enjoyed the first two. <laughs> uh, what did you say? What, the paper in this? The paper's fine in this, I think. We'll see. But I'm pretty sure it's the same as the other Kirby's. But yes, I enjoyed everything about this page. Minus one, two, three, four, five. So leaf one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six. Six. <laughs> so I enjoyed that. This one, I'll keep it going because people are still working on it. I said there was no time rush and there's not. So I'll keep it going till the end of the month and then I will do one the end of the month. So around the 26th. Um, I'll, I'll concoct another one up for us all. Not from this book, from something else. Um, but yes, that was what we were doing. Thank you. <laughs> I know, it's so bright. My, I needed sunglasses. Okay, so we're back to sepia 10. I'll keep you out for a minute because until I come in with details and I'm just adding like a base, then uh, you're good to stay a little bit further away so you can see the full picture. But then we'll put in details and then you can come in and uh, see it at a bit of a closer 
angle. But yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing I'm not going to do that with the same book. It's okay, I'm going to choose something completely different. I really fancy something mystic arty, mirrories, but if the general feel of it is like a no, because not many people have her books, then I'll do it from probably one that we've mostly all got. So, well, it, you know, in general that most people have got. So I'll, I'll have a little look. Okay, so I'm coming with my sepia 10 still. I've not changed. Because this is quite a good um, colour actually for the colour that I'm looking at on my reference. It's seeming quite a, a good choice. Obviously not for the entire thing because I've got coming with lighter colour. Um, but they've got quite a lot of blue in them and quite a lot of like baby tones. Okay, then I'm going to come to my silver grey now. <laughs> Hiya Sue, I mentioned you. I was just showing, I didn't show the inside message. I just wanted to show you your cute little card that you did because it's so cute. And it's up on my side there. <laughs> okay, um, so silver grey. Again, all supras. And I'm just literally going to go over most of this area here with this, with a decent generous amount, because this is going to be your lightest colour, but it's also going to be um, a nice tint of grey rather than a heavy grey. So it's just like tint. I think it's the lightest grey in the supras, but it's quite a promising colour for what I'm looking for. So I'm going to get my bases down. And then we're going to go in for a nice amount of detail. Can't wait to do the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to come down here as well. Now in here, there's some beiges. So I'm also going to pick up uh, Naples Ochre. I'm just going to put some along there. whisker lines <clears throat> and then back to my silver grey. I'm so happy I've got a base coming. I was sitting there, do you know when you look at pictures, anyone else do this? Yes I love the card and I, I was just showing I've been making a bunch of cards and I'm going to be sending out each month so if you get an email from me, anyone gets an email from me saying would you mind if I send you a card in the next couple of weeks? Um, it's okay if you don't, <laughs> you don't have to say yeah. You'll probably five or six people each month I'll do. And then um, I would be honoured if you would allow me to send your card back. So that's what I was saying. Like, I would love to be able to send people cards this year. It's one of my things, like one of my little goals. So if you get contacted by me this month, next month, month after, for your address, if you wouldn't mind, I do completely delete them after. People will know that because I always have to come back and ask for them again. Um... They're confidential, I don't share them, I just use them to send your card or your happy mails or whatever it is. So if you get contacted by me asking, um, I would love it if you would allow me to. It would make me a very happy person. Okay, so I'm going for my silver grey all over. So watch out because some of you will be getting it this month, some next month, some the month after. So I'll be contacting people, you know, for details. That's okay, by the way. <laughs> I didn't see Lynch. You know, I love the gorgeous range, but I just, I wouldn't, I don't think I would colour it. But I love the, oh, the stuff. I just don't think I'll end up colouring it. Hello, Rebecca. We are in the newest Kirby. Okay, so we're going to activate, and I'm just going to work from one area to the next. So this is just my base. So we've got something to work with. We are. We got to. We got to dive into some, some Kirby. I know everyone's doing him, but I think it's going to be flavour of the month. It's this. It's kind of expected when he brings a book out that that month is going to be dominated by Kirby. <laughs> kind of happens, doesn't it? Okay. So I'm just going to work the colours to where I want them to be and then I'll okay I'm 
I thought it was only fit for me then. Uh, then I will come in with the dry colours, but at first, let's just get the colour down. And all these little tiny furs, we can work with after. The base is always going to be flat. So you remember when I did my tiger? Desiree's got the tiger. I went to Desiree's house. Um, I did my tiger with Kirsty Partridge. And I followed the steps. And the first step always looks just muddy. And you just literally are activating a bunch of colours and merging them together. Then you work on top and it goes with the detail and I took pictures of stages of that and it just really does come to life with the detail. The first layer never does anything really, it just gives you a base. So patience is going to be a big virtue with these big double pages I think because there's going to be a lot of detail to go down. And a lot of time and patience and effort, which I've got plenty of that for for colouring so or any art for that matter. Ah, yeah, I thought you needed it. You love your cats. And being that we're very close and you're very special, I just thought, well, you kind of need to have it. <laughs> You're going to have it. Okay. So, I'm just putting... Um, I'm not going to merge too many of these colours together, but I do need to know where my darks are going to be. So this part here has got like a lot of, like a grey, and then we've got blues, and then more grey, whoops, hi you pickle! And, sorry, oh god, the concentration is real. Okay, so I don't want to do too much on that side because it's actually got some light. Um, okay, so we've got some more dark here. It also comes into these bits. The paper's holding up really well, so it's just like his other books. I think the same paper, same publishers, I believe. And with his books, as you know, they do take mixed media really well. Um, meaning you can put pretty much anything as long as you don't over abuse it but his paper has always taken watercolour really well you know you don't have to saturate the page to get the effects you want which is great because this paper isn't watercolour paper um, but it works really well oops oops <laughs> Yeah, well, your room's heaven anyway. <laughs> Ray Ray's got a studio and it's just like, oh, it's like the gates of heaven have opened. It's like the best craft room. I'm like, oh, I, just, I don't think I'd, I'd come out of that room. I'd live there. Okay, I'm just going to add a bit more water there. Okay, so his eyes will be dark. Don't, we've got to put the black in as well, so... That comes last. So I'm going to work on, I think once this, while I'm waiting for this dry, I'm going to work on the eyes and I'm going to do them dry. So I'm not going to wet them, I'm just going to do them dry. And it's going to be like a really pale green with yellow. So like, you know, like celadon green, um, that type of green, but I've got to find greens obviously in the supers. Um, so they're the types of colours that we're going to be using, but obviously we've got to build on that. So if I come up a minute, and I'm looking at my reference, obviously we've only got a base going here. But you can see where I'm going to be going with darks, lights, blues. And I'm kind of going to try and replicate, like his ears have got the brown with the beige. It's going to be like that there as well. So we're going to go with that sort of vibe. Um, so we're going to continue that after. However, while I'm waiting for that to dry, let's pick our colours. So we've got to pick these nice, like these greens these types of greens so a really pale green would be the colbert green and then the chromium oxide green and then we obviously need like a very pale yellow so we could do naples yellow and a little bit of a little bit of um what one's that light flesh we'll use these for the eyes 
So this is just the base because we've got to get a nice amount of colour down first. Right, let's do the eyes. So with his eyes, we're going to put in um, we're going to put in some Colbert Green. And we're going to come just sort of around. I don't know if it's because it's quite heavily shaded. So we're going to try and get it, even though we've got so much black in there, which I really wish wasn't in there, but we've got to work with it. That's the one thing I would like the eyes to be blank because then you can put the details in yourself. Uh, which is a lot easier. Okay, so then I'm going to pick up my Naples Ochre. I'm going to go around first off. Let's see what we can do. Okay, before we start putting anything else in, hold on. Ah, oh, thanks. We we hopefully we'll get that. Okay, chromium green. No, chromium oxide green. It's going to be more to the tops of it. You never quite know what's going to come out of your hands every time you put pencil to paper. I think that's quite part of the charm. Okay, and that's Colbert green. Don't you think? You know when you're starting something off, you're not quite sure how things are going to come out. But you're sort of excited to see anyway. Because who knows? Okay, light flesh 10. Should we go around here? Well, that's how I kind of feel with these sort of things. I'm like, well, if it doesn't come out as I wanted it to, it's still not going to come out terrible. It's just going to come out different. And different's not bad, so. So here we just look at his eyes. Because we've got, uh, we've got sh little windows to do yet. Okay, so he's got like a got windows and we've got the black. What I call windows is, do you know the little bits you put in with the Posca? That. Okay. And then back to chromium oxide green. Should we come out of the tops? And Naples ochre. I'm just going to come back in the middle. So I'm just going to do them. Oops. And now I've just got a last bit to finish. I've been so lazy. It's not that I've been so unmotivated. I'm just going to get a black a minute. Let me just darken around. I'm finding that. I'm finding things so difficult at the moment to motivate myself. Whether you or the guys are saying. But even now, I'm like, snap out of it. <laughs> just snap out. You've got all these amazing things that you've got like halfway done or four quarters of the way, not three quarters of the way, nearly four quarters, but you're literally on the last step, Sam, come on. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jesus Christ, woman. <laughs> Get on with it. Okay, so we have this dark bit come down. They've always got that big teardrop eye. So we're just going to work on the eyes a minute. I managed to motivate myself to do leaves. <laughs> uh, what is your colouring heaven hashtag for the month? Oh, okay, one minute. Put that on the screen for you. It is called the colouring heaven stash attack. It is for the entire year. I know, I know how you feel, Ray. It's been so hard. So that's what it's called. It's hashtag colouring heaven stash attack. And it's from January to December. Because we've got so many of them that we're never going to do them in one month. And if I just manage to do one a month, work on one a month, until I do one every two months, whatever it might be. I just want to work on some of them. Okay, it's going to come here as well. Andrew learnt two songs last week. It was like, it was super quick. Then I'm going to put the, we've still got to do windows and, and highlights and shine and stuff. I just want to put the details in. So always with um, big cat eyes, they've always got this really thick rimmed, 
this is just a polychromo black you can grab any but it's just because it was right next to me um they've always got this really thick black rimmed eye <laughs> i know a year's not enough for me i survived wilson i survived just by the end of it i was like oh my gosh how did that happen i tried to channel all the inner strength I had to do them. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> oh God, you know those certain things? Oh, I was just like, yeah. Okay, so they have a really thick black bit here. So I'm gonna really sort of work on making sure the dark areas are so black because they are like leather. So we're just going to put these in because I will lose them amongst colour. Um, don't forget as well, you're going to have all these little uh, things surrounding it, these little dots. Um, did I get Colour and Tricks Grayscale Colour Ribbit? No, I didn't because I prefer her PDFs just personally. I, you know, I prefer to get her PDFs because I can print it off on my own paper. All right, let's do windows. Let's see if we can do some windows. Oh, shepherd's pie, yum, yum. I used to work with a guy, and you know what he called them? Shepherd's bush, couldn't stop laughing. He used to come in and I used to do a lot of the cooking if I worked on late shifts, which I did a lot of late shifts, by the way. Um, and he used to come and he used to say, what's up for dinner? And I used to say, Shepherd's Pie, he used to say, Shepherd's Bush. And oh my God, I think I died a million times when he said that. Because over here, Shepherd's Bush is actually a place to live. He used to come in and he used to say to me, I oh, really like Shepherd's Bush. And I, I died. I literally died laughing. I couldn't stop. I died a million times when he used to come in and ask for Shepherd's Bush literally okay so we'll leave them for a minute because we can add some more details after let's come to his fur um so we've got our sharp pencils now supers can be used dry um okay let's go for let's go for some colors hold on i'm just trying to pick some out so I might need to sharpen some of these. Actually, I might need to sharpen all of them. <laughs> I know, I used to die. <laughs> he used to come in and ask for Shepherd's Bush. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> what did you just say? Oh dear, and he used to say, oh, and I was like, Shepherd's Pie. <laughs> he was funny. Okay, sorry about the noise for a minute. I just got to sharpen. Thanks, we need to do a little bit more on him, but we, you know, we'll do it as we go along. My main thing is, uh, is get this fur on the road. How's the hubby not hubby doing? He's okay. He's sitting over there with his hood up, watching something on YouTube because it's cold. Well, <laughs> my carts are my studio, so I don't I don't feel like I'm hoarding. I feel like everything's got a spot and it's organised. Um, do you find that if you've got everything organised, you're alright? Hi, Lou! Hello, Sissy! Long time! Everyone give a shout out to my Lou. <laughs> it's been a long time. How dumb. Right. Um, whoops. Get that off the screen. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hang your brandy. Okay, so let's work on some of the fur and darkening up some of these little features. Okay, so I'm going to go for the nose. Let's work on the nose. So let's pick out my mouse grey now. So I'm going to be working on top and I'm going to have to do some layers on this, I think. So we're going to go some mouse grey this is going to be so many parts this I'm so sorry I know it is because I can I can feel it in my bones 
Herbies take time. Now I'm not doing any special fares. If I wanted to do that, I would take my low. Oh gosh, we'll be here about 25 parts. <laughs> just yeah. No, I know. It's I mean on here. <laughs> I'm an extreme. <laughs> yeah, we'll be here. You know. Let's just say no more, no less than 20 parts if I did this in every, every like individual fair. But we could put some white ones in. But, yeah, we'll have to see with this how oh, this is going to roll. Um, okay, so I'm going to pick out my steel grey. And then I think we'll pick out the lightest grey that we have. So we're just going to have to... Sorry, that's my fault. We're going to have to just keep blending this out and seeing how we go. I'm going to leave the nose till last, I think. It's going to have snow falling on him as well. You're doing fairy tales and fantasy colouring month. Nice, someone else is doing a fantasy one as well. I can't remember who. The, yeah, it is amazing. I mean, the whole book is... And nothing that I do is going to keep it justified. And also, don't forget, I can't drag these out to like 20 odd parts because people would lose interest and that's totally understandable. So what I'll try and do is try and cover a vast amount on a page before I move on. So that if you were doing this in your free time, you could do some and then, you know, sort of branch out and do your own thing. Because I don't want to spend too long on it. Because you would. You'd lose interest in a heartbeat. Um, I'm going to go for the bluish pale. And it's the same with me. If I'm doing like a... I sit down and I do like... They're two hour parts. And I break them up into hour parts. And there's six of them. So there's like 12 of them for me. When I do tutorials. And at the moment the one that I'm doing is, is six parts. But they're two, two and a half hours long. So I tend to break them up into sometimes 40 minutes, sometimes an hour, sometimes, um, I don't know, whatever my back lets me do. Uh, it depends on the time of day, etc, etc. So I just break stuff up to how I can manage it. Now, if I did this on YouTube in 20 odd parts, you'd get bored. Hiya, Sharon. It has been a long time. How are you doing? Hiya, Debbie. <laughs> That's okay. Lurk and work and lurk. Uh, yeah, same pencils, same pencils. These can be used wet or dry. Watercolour pencils don't always mean that you've got to use them as a watercolour pencil. They mean you can start off with a base and go on top with loads of detail. Um, okay, then I'm going to pick up the same silver grey that I used all over. And I'm going to put some of that over here. Now, this has got like a really dark grey. So we're going to come in with my sepia or coca even. Coca would be good. Um, so I'm just getting in my lightest tones first and we'll start layering on top with that so i'm just going to blend that outwards and then we could bring in gray because they've got like a like a, a dark it's sort of like it looks like a streak down the middle of the nose i'm gonna bring that in so i'm gonna work my way up and it is quite a lot of work, you know, you have to work your way in. Um, but yes, you, you, when you've got, right, so even your Albert Durers. So you use your Albert Durers and you can activate them or you can use them dry over the top after you've activated. So I'm going to do that and coca. So coca and grey at the moment. And you can just keep going until you get your, you know, the amount of pigment that you want down. It's totally up to you. Or you can just use them and swap over to a pencil you're more comfortable with. Dry. It, it, you can do it however you want. I mean, I just think Supras are so nice dry as well as wet, so I use them both, both ways, um, personally. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the Coca. I'm gonna work on one area at a time just try and 
Oh my gosh, did you hear that? These pencils are so soft. I'm pressing a bit too hard there. I'm just lighten my pressure up. Um, I'm usually really light-handed. But I suppose there's a time for everything. Okay, so I'm just going in small circular motions. And I'm just going over all this area here that I want to deepen. So just keep deepening that up till I get that. I did, I did. Oh, Yeah, there's quite a lot of like, around here has got some deep. That's why I'm trying to follow a little bit of the reference, but in another sense, I'm kind of just following Kirby's lines. So if Kirby's giving you these areas which are a bit deeper, um, so I kind of have to roll with that because he's already designed it for me. I can't ignore him. Unless I was to like print this off on a big piece of card and at the print shop, but then you'd have the binding down the middle and, you know, it's always harder. This is the thing with his double pages. I wish he brought out the biggest encyclopedia of all his double pages he's ever done in one big mambo jumbo, like big poster book. That would be heaven. <laughs> Without a little snap. <laughs> okay, go back to my grey. And we're going to go over the top of the coca. You can layer and layer. If you're going lighter, you can layer. So, I'm just going to lightly go over where we've put coca. And we're going to keep working the grey on top until I've got that sort of dark streak. Which is, it's getting there, isn't it? Good day, Tammy. <laughs> yes, I think that would be amazing. I think a giant Kirby Roseanne's encyclopedia of double pages poster book. It would be thick, it would be big, but if he even priced that thing at 30 quid, I'd buy it. Because it's all his time and effort, all those double pages without, without the spine. Me too, no spine, no spine. Just the biggest book in the world of his double pages. I think we would all buy it. One, it supports him. Two, we call for it. We call for it. We need it. <laughs> we need, not one, we need it. <laughs> okay, just gonna come over here a minute. I'm gonna add a hint of that um, Steel grey again, which is just to blend outwards off that other grey. To be honest, leopard, the snow leopards are not white. You think being snow, nope. They've got greys, they've got blues, they've got beiges, they've got every which colour going in, in them, but not actually any white. Yes, I need to, I need his number. Anyone want to hook me up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to come here a second. Let's put me in some sepia 10% a minute. And I'm going to work that here. Now, I might need a touch of a darker grey to bring in that I haven't already got out. Um, so... I'm going to pick myself Payne's Grey, which is the darkest one, I know, but it's going to be good for shadows. So I'm going to come down the side of his nose, and I'm just going to layer in some of this Payne's Grey a second. Now, before I do that any further, I'm just going to get black, because I'm going to lose that, and I'm going to lose that. So I'm just going to put them in a second, because, yeah, I don't want to lose them. And I'm just going to work in some of this Payne's Grey. Just so I've got a shadow, because don't forget, it's this side of the face. Sharon, I am using the Super Color Softs. Oh, Super Color 2 Softs. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to be quite just. Oh, hold on. We're using these today. They're by Karen Dash, and they're fabulous. Okay, here we go. It's got itself back. 
He answers the questions sometimes, spoken to him about sketchbook stories, but really want no... Yeah, they stopped selling that, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, I just throw my demand at him and see what he says. <laughs> it's going to be like, go away, woman. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to know. Because <laughs> my friends and me, we really, really want it. Yeah, no, it might work. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to wipe some of that paint spray in. You never know. You never know. It's going to fit. Who is this woman? Does she not think I've got enough things to do? <laughs> what, what's one more? <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, gosh, I'm no one. But my friends are, so they need it. <laughs> oh, it's funny though you never know it, someone's got to ask someone's got to ask for the people <laughs> okay so then we're going to go to some more of the beige colour so I'm going to go for the flesh 10% so I think it's light flesh isn't it yeah light flesh 10% And I'm going to work that in to this area. Now, this is going to be slightly darker than what it is, but we've got to put black in there, don't forget, as well. But if I get this side of the face predominantly done, I can really put those details in and we can see what it's going to start to look like. So there's a lot more greys in there. So I'm going to pick, bring in grey, mouse grey, and then grey. So we'll start off with mouse grey. We're going to work this in now we've done a base i'll do more of a base over like the rest of it but we're just going to try to work out what we're doing here <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no you gotta go with some claire claire would claire's your girl to ask claire's the one with the following <laughs> she's your girl remember i'm a small fish you've got you got a Ask Chris Cheng or Colour with Claire. They're, they're, the, they're our peeps. Let's go and ask them. We should, we should get Claire. Claire's a good sport. Because she then could review it. <laughs> oh, you've got the new one. Okay, fess up, people. Who has ordered Anastasia's new book? Araman, Aram, Aramantine? What is it called? Oh, it's something like that. Anastasia Ellie Calderiva. Oh, what's the name of it? Yeah, Desiree's got like three copies of each book because it's her favourite artist. It's her favourite, favourite artist, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Claire would do it. <laughs> you pre-ordered, Angela, yay, go you. Who else is pre I'm so naughty, I've not done it yet. Amar Amarantine, is that how you say it? Amarantine? Hey, Raven, I've not seen you in a long time. Hope you're good. Thank you for that. I was trying to remember it. I knew it was Arara. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. You know me in words. Words do not come easily to me. Hello, Bob. Is it Barborka? Hi. Yeah, I'm trying to, th do you know what, do you know what I was trying to do? I was trying to be very good for the minute and I was actually thinking along the lines of wait till the month is up. Like, just wait, Sam, hold your horses. Okay, so this part here, it needs to have a very light grey now. So we're going to go for um, silver grey. And that's just going to blend out from those greys there. And then we've got to really darken that side up. Um, so the outside of the fur hasn't actually got uh, black, it's the inside bits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Shell. <laughs> Shell's got something special for herself coming. Okay, so I'm going to just go for this colour here for a minute, just blend that out. Right, I'm going to grab my black, and I'm just going to very... 
very quickly put in those um, details here. So some blacks here. So they're not they're not straight and they're jagged. So you go jagged. Go with the jaggedness. The so jaggedness is what makes it. So I'm just gonna go with the jag. Go with the jag. And the same with all these, we're gonna come down to those in a minute. So there's not actually many here and there's more around the eye. So there is kind of like a shade in here. So just grab any black, you can grab your super black, your prisma black, any black that you like to use and you're most familiar and comfortable with. Um, and I'm just gonna bring in a little bit more of a thicker line because their eyes in general are really thick. Um, rimmed. So I'm just going to bring some of that in before we put other colours in. So just, yeah, don't be afraid to do it. Oh, me too. Super colour, super, 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 super. Sorry, I didn't see above. Super colour, I love them. So I'm just going to come down to my grey again. Right, let's bring that down here, right, round this bit. So we're going to bring in, this is our mouse grey, I'm just going to put it round. And I'm going to bring it along those little whisker little dots, whisker dots, <laughs> join the whiskers together. Yeah, once we put all the details in, it will look different. Um, so we're just starting it out for the meantime, which is, you know, it's starting point is the best point because you get playing. Okay, so before I bring anything else in, I'm going to get myself my sepia 50. And I'm just going to bring some of that down into this area by the mouth. Same with that side as well. So just like keep layering but go lightly like layer light nice and light then we'll go for some I have new color light ochre it's gonna have a hint of that in there so just off the edge of the one that we've just used the sepia 50 just a hint of it there's so many colors going on in the snow leopards I was like poof how many? When I'm looking at you, I'm seeing about 10. Um, okay, so we've got a bit more of a beige. So talking of sepia 50, I might actually bring some of that brownie hint into what we've done over there as well because I can also lead it sort of into this bit here. You know where I'm coming down into these areas. Um, so I'm going to just bring some into there as well. Because I wanna. Do you remember that? Does anyone know Billy Piper? Because I want to. You know, every time I say because I wanna, I have that in my mind. Um, okay, then I'm going to go back to my mouse grey. And I'm going to leave that from those colours that we've just put in to the mouse grey that we've also got in those little whiskers. And just build that up. Then a hint of Naples ochre. into the mouse grey and back to our silver grey and then we'll work on top of that as well so it's quite a few colours into one area but that's what I'm looking at I've just got a reference picture in front of me now this is quite white underneath that's why I've left that bit so this is actually going to be white I've got to use white posca into that as well um, so I'm just sort of working that into here 
Um, okay, right, black. Now, these whiskers are also, you can bring them white after, but you still got to put them in black for a bit because I'm going to lose them. So I'm going to bring in these. little holes, the whiskers. In, so they're black. They're also got like, he's got a few little areas there that's a little bit darker. So don't forget this is always dark. So just, that is like, a, I call them licorice lips because they look like little licorice lips. Mum calls them that as well. I think that's where I got it from. Okay, so we're just going to bring the black. Don't forget, this is Mum's choice. Mum's choice. Mum really wanted this. So I'm just bringing these in dark for a minute because I can always go over and white if I need to, or we can leave them black, but it just so it doesn't disappear for me. Okay, so now we've got to go to that black line and just deepen that off a bit. So it's nice and dark. But don't worry, because as I said, I'm not going for a realistic, realistic thing. I'm going to just go for a thing that I'm looking for that's going to come out, you know, happy what I'm looking for and happy with the result. Okay, so I'm just going to put the dark in. They have this really thick, thick lip of black. I'm going to bring that in. Let's bring more. Okay, so that will all be there as well. <laughs> yeah, she loves them. She loves snow leopards. She did one in, is it Anamorphia? Well, one of them, Imagimorphia. One of them has a snow leopard. and She did one in one of them. I can't remember which one it was now. It may have been Anamorphia. Okay. So you see this bottom bit, that's white, and we need to leave that white. So just very quickly with my Posca, I'm just going to bring in, just to make sure that I keep that as white as possible. Because the, the, the bottom of his mouth is just pure, like, white. It's like the lightest bit on them. And bring that in. It doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be completely how you're going to have the end result yet, but it's just going to make it help. Yeah, they all, this all morphs in, so when we get to his back, it'll actually morph into all those mountains. So I'm just going to, oh, imagine morphia, yeah, thank you, yes, yeah, she's done that one. Okay, so I'm just going to keep bringing that in a bit. Just take out some of these lines. And he has got some white whiskers. They are white. We can try it, but if we don't like it, we can always take it off. Hold on a minute. So I'm just going to bring a minute. Do I want to do them white? Because they are white. The thing is, I haven't coloured the rest yet, so I'm going to have to only redo them. But it looks better anyway, doesn't it? Okay, check them. And these are, what are they? Like a white as well. I just want to see what they look like. Yeah, they'll look good. They'll look good when they everything else is coloured. Just wanted to see what that would look like. Okay, so the nose. Let's have a look at his nose. They've got like a... A pinky brown. Oh my, okay. What about this colour? Let's go for some on the board first. So let's try this first. Okay, so this one is um, Burnt Sienna 50. Let's just see what this looks like before I do anything else because the middle's pretty light. And then the round, the edging of it is darker. So I didn't want to put that straight just in case it wasn't right, but it's okay. That's about the right colour, isn't that? Yeah, okay. Oops, 
say. <laughs> well, I think we can safely say Shannon's the uh, the animal whisperer, Mrs. Doolittle. So she might be all right. She might be all right. <laughs> she might be fine and safe from them. <laughs> Okay, so before I put anything on that, let's let that dry. Underneath, he's got a little bit of a darker spot. So let's go for our Payne's Grey. So I'm going to come under here with that. Definitely going to be a four or five part art. I think this is death. Just putting that out there. What I might do is if I put the colours down on the face, which I have done, and I've worked one side of the face, if I work on it a little bit off screen, just a tiny bit, because you know what colours we're using, you'll be able to do that because you've, you've planted it anyway. You've potted it, planted and plotted and done your thing. Um, so you'll be, you'll, you know, you're going to be fine. So if I work on like a little bit more of the face, then I can like finish it off so you can see what I've done. Then it might not be as long, otherwise it might take us forever. Okay, so I'm just putting in this Payne's Grey. And then as it comes down to the white area, I'm going to add a little bit of the Naples ochre, just a touch, so that it signifies it's going to go lighter. And then it'll obviously go white, which you just have to keep working on top of. <laughs> Send them to Shannon, Ray. She'll help. She's the animal whisperer. She she takes them all. <laughs> she can't. She has to. She's she's like the animal whisperer. She's our lady. She should go to. Do you want to go to Nashville? She'll she'll help you out. <laughs> Ray's got two Bengals that are driving her bananas at the moment. Okay, so we've got some of the white in there. When that's dry, I'll blend that into that white. <laughs> See, send them over to Shannon. She'll help. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna pick out, so should we work on that ear? So that if I do like this side of the face, that side's gonna be almost in the mid. Um, so let's go for this ear over here and let's pick up our coca. Yeah, anyone got animal troubles? <laughs> Shannon's your girl. She'll help you out. We have certain roles, I think. Okay, coca. Still, I'm just gonna put that into this part. And then we have our. We were using dark flesh, weren't we? Um, when we put that down. So let's go back to our dark flesh 50, and let's just work off that coca a minute. There's like a brown ring and then there's like a pain scrape. We're going to try and work it. Because we need to put the pain scrape in, but that's lost. Um, so I'm just going to go around the ring of this. This fur here is all that sort of yellowed. Let's pick up our light ochre a minute and let's just, um, let's just put some in. There's also white in there, so we've got to mix that. Okay, then let's get our pain scrape. Go for the edge and then let's pick some of that into the hairs there. Let's do this. Okay. And that's uh, this is page. 
paint's great by the way, because we're just putting in some shadows. And then just add some more of that in there. Oh, coffee. seems about right because it's quite dark around the ears actually so we're on the right lines and this all molds into our mountains as well <laughs> oh yes grab them mary the thing is most pencils work in his books i find um but i just like supras because you can always base it first just so when you've got a multi-colored you know, many colours, a coat of many colours, let's call it, like Joseph and the Technicolor Dream Coat, uh, he's got a coat of many colours. It's so much easier, I think, to just very loosely put your colours down with water and then go on top, um, because then you've got somewhere to go with it, than just going in straight and it'll take you hours if you did it, you know, just with pencil. Okay, just going to pick up my Naples Ochre, just to add in where I need that beige, because we're going to bring in some more um, greys. So this is just adding my beigey tints underneath, because don't forget, you can go darker on top of beiges, um, but you wouldn't. this wouldn't just be cancelled out if you put greys down and you try to put this in after. So you can always have this underneath as your base. And then add on top with your with your um with your grades. How you can paste? Okay, let's bring in our mouse grey. Then talking of our greys on top of beige, and I'm just going to work that in and on this part as well. So I'm going to leave hints of the beiges here, but I'm also going to add and mix in some grey. Pretty much over his entire body, it's got mix. So I'm just gonna mix that in, in certain areas. By the way, never done one of these before, so this is just going with what I'm looking at. Okay, gray, which is a bit darker. I'm just going with what I feel. Now there's like bushes and stuff there, um, so we're going to leave that. So can you see, if I do that, you can see where we're starting to build the colour up. That light is catching that, can you see the depth of the colour more where I've put it? Okay, before I put the whites and black. So let's put in a deeper part here. So I'm just grabbing a black. And then. Um, okay. Right, and then this part as well, it's got like a deeper colour. So I'm going to put the black here. <laughs> Mum chose it and I was like, hmm, it's going to take me forever. don't think I was wrong. It will take me a long time. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. It'll be, it'll be all right. It's not going to be anything spectacular. It'll be all right. <laughs> That's what I say. Just all right. Okay, just going to put in the blacks for a minute. They'll be darker. But we've got some coming off here. I'm just going to work them in. Okay. So they'll be pretty, pretty dark. Okay, in the middle, before I come over here, because that's going to mould into the body, isn't it? So, we can do some very faint, like, white. No, it's too dark. Uh, to too thick it needs to be so fine just some like 
just some fine lines like that. You're so sweet. <laughs> I don't think, honestly, I think like my confidence has been knocked a bit because I just find myself not unmotivated. I'm not unmotivated. It's more trying to find concentration. Um, dark flesh 50. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just talking myself out of things. I don't know. As long as I enjoy it. That's all I say. As long as I enjoy it. And it's the same for anyone. As long as you enjoy it. Okay, so that's just going to be a hint of that underneath. We need our Payne's Grey. And I'm just going to make sure that the middle is going to have like a deeper colour. So it leads down, doesn't it? Okay, so we're going to add the pain. So we'll still add beiges, but they're only going to be a hint rather than a predominant colour. So let's bring that in a little bit more. Just working how much I need it to go to. Yeah. <laughs> Talking of, I haven't actually put my glasses on today. <laughs> it's the most you said in months. Trust me, we've all lost our way, Ray. It's like, what's happening? We need to find our way back. <laughs> okay. So it's got like a dark there and it's also got a nice like Kirby's actually put it in for us so I'm just going to have a Payne's Grey for a second and I'm just going to apply that where I need it to go especially here so it's just small circular motions. That's the thing, I'm just going light and, and building up as I go along. But I'm going to focus on this side. Oh, snow removal. Your hands must be freezing. <laughs> yeah, I was actually clearing today. Okay, bluish pale. Yeah, bluish pale. I'm just going to have a hint of that underneath. So I'm just going to apply that a little bit like more than where I need it just so that, you know, if I need to sort of fade it out, I will do with another colour, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of that anyway. It's got like a light blue hint there, and it's also at the top here, which we'll do after, but you can add like a good amount of it, because even if you add more than what you need, you can go over it, because it's a nice light colour, so it can just be underneath. Um, so it's just hints of it, because you've got it in your nose, you've got it at the top of the head. Yeah, see, that's a good thing about US. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, bless how. That's so sweet. Um, okay. Let's, yes, yeah, well, funnily enough, Chip was across my belly yesterday talking to Shannon, and every time she said Chip, and he was barking, still grey. But his bark is like, when he's half heartedly barking, it's a oof. It's never a woof, it's a oof. And I'm like, who are you talking to? And he goes, oof. And I'm like, really, Chip, oof. And that's all you get out of him. When he's like properly telling someone off, he's, he can yap. He can yap for England. But when he, um, when he's like half-heartedly just answering something, it's oof. And I'm like, really? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you do it back at him and he looks at you like, huh? <laughs> okay, grey. Does any of your dogs do like half hide answers? But different when they want something. Or when you're telling them no. Hmm. Then the, the pipes start to get louder. Okay, so grey. We've still got the hints of those beiges underneath. The top of the eyes have got a lighter area. So what I think I'm gonna do is get my eraser. Seriously, <laughs> it's just so funny. I'm like, hmm. I remember that next time I told you to. Okay, 
Okay, so just above the eye, there is one patch. You could do this for like highlights, you know. Get your eraser, just get your eraser out. There's a slightly white area above each and below each eye. So just literally like a little area, and this is a good thing you can do as well. Just add a highlight with your eraser. Just like, just like that, just no problem whatsoever. Okay, just gonna add a little bit more over here. There we go. Just a hint. <laughs> yeah, oh, I do it all the time. I'm his pack. I'm his pack. Are you your dog's packs? Are you cat's packs? Oh, that's so so sad. I hate you know, I hate hearing about people losing animals. Okay, grey. I'm still with grey. And this one is um, still grey. down here and then I'm also going to pick up my lightest grey which was the um, silver grey and I'm not going to go over the areas I've already put the black in on some of these so I've got to go around and anywhere that you need to add a highlight you can just do that so I like, say the side here you want to add a bit more of a highlight you can just bring your eraser and just come round kind of thing just a little highlight <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hi Candice. Okay. So silver grey. Silver grey. Now I'm going to add a hint more of some of this beige. So I'm going to pick up my light flesh 10 and I'm just going to add a little hint with these greys that I've just applied. Just a touch. Now, if you're dulling down some of that black artwork that he's done, you're going to apply the blacks in anyway, so I wouldn't worry. If you want to add a little bit more of a dark, go with your black and literally just very lightly just apply it like you would if, you know, you're going to go super light with your pressure you can always come outwards from that we've not done this side of the face at all then before I do anything else my jagged black lines I'm going to start adding in now you can do this with Supra you can do this with Prisma you can do this with Poly if you wanted to you could actually watercolor your jagged lines first and then go on top and it does actually intensify it um, now they're not all straight they are all completely different like shapes, sizes, lengths, thickness, all of that. It's just they're all over the place. So you might want to go over them twice, which is probably what I'll do. But you can see as you bring them in, it changes it up anyway. Um, so Just sort of putting it in where you're gonna go. Oh, itchy, itchy ear. What does itchy ear mean? Someone's talking about you, or is it surprise? Surprise is itchy nose or palm, isn't it? What's itchy ear? Like you know your lobe, the bottom of your ear lobe, or is that nothing? It's just an itch. <laughs> but there's always something for one of those things. You know what I'm talking about. Like if you have itchy nose, people say, "Oh, you're gonna get a surprise." And I just say you're going to sneeze, but you never know. There might be something behind it. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Asking for a friend. In case anyone thinks I'm strange. Okay, let's just add. I'm going to bring a little bit of that black in there, just, just a touch, and try and intensify that. And then there's some other bits there. Uh, 
which ear is it? It's my left. Oh, sorry, it's my friend's left. The invisible friend. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me it's bad news. <laughs> yeah, isn't it receiving or giving out money, we say? Receiving my left, hand out money with my right. Something like that. Hey, Kim. I can't remember. Something like that, we say here. Because it's always like itchy palm. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's usually always the one that's bills. <laughs> I'm like, stop. <laughs> okay. So it is going to start to come together, isn't it? Do you know what I rewatched as well? Just like sitting when I'm sitting here. Uh, FBI season one, I love that show so much. Okay, I'm just, just going to put... Okay, so he's starting to come to life, I think. Right, with the nose, there is the dark areas in here before I put any depth in the nose. And then, like that. And it's also really dark here. Like that. And then this has got more brown, hasn't it? <laughs> Amazon palm, yeah. <laughs> if it's your left one, I'm going to try and find more. Find your back. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yes, Kate Price. Or we used to call her Jordan. Yes, I have. Okay, um, she's quite big over here. We're always in the tabloids for the wrong reasons, sadly. Okay, sepia 50%. I'm going to go around the nose. So don't forget the middle part is the... Uh, burnt sienna 50 no, someone's talking bad about me. Who's trash talking? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Who's trash talking? Let's go get them with a bat then. It's fine. No, I'd never do that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, well. If they do it to you, they leave someone else alone, if that's the case. Okay. Uh, burnt Sienna 50. into the middle let's make that a bit darker uh we need a uh, coca actually that's because the coca is darker just go around the edge and back to um sepia 50 <laughs> Yes, that's right. If you get a shiver down the spine, someone's walked over your grave. Burnt sienna, yep, I say that as well. I say, always say that. Oh, shiver down the spine, someone walked over my grave. It's that past life thing, isn't it? Okay. And then I'm going to get my black again. And I'm just going to make sure that the, the parts that are supposed to be dark are dark. So I'm going to... Just going to put in... A little bit more depth, like the nostril area. And underneath so there's a little dark spot it really does join so it goes from the middle of the nose and it joins into the mouth so let's put this in yeah I've never hurt anyone <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> thank you yeah you get there I think you'll get there so if I come up a minute, so it's quite a big picture. Look at the size of it. It's going to flash out, isn't it? Um, so all I, I know it seems like I've not done much in like an hour and a half so far, but it's getting in those colours, and especially if you need to add any more darks. So you can add like black areas 
in and then just like work on it after but all those main colors are down like the browns so if we come up you'll see like the browns in there the grays in there the blue tints in there we'll put some lilac in there after um but if i work on as i said if i work on one side of the face that side is going to mimic it and the same with the basin as well but i think i'm going to do this on saturday oh no no there might be something on Saturday to inform you about. But look on my community tab if I'm allowed to say. Um, hold on, what did mum say? Uh, oh yeah, mum, <laughs> mum bless her. She did the snow leopard in, can you see that, in Anamorphia? Uh, she did that. A long time ago now. So I'm going to work on this slowly, but I need to add more depth into his head, I think. So we'll work on it. But as I said, the thing is with this, I mean, don't forget this is, you know, they're all different. So this one's got less blues. This one's got more blues. They're all slightly different. So I just need to work on it a little bit by bit and keep building it up. Don't forget I've got, like, bright light now. So if I turn the bright lighting down a bit, hold on. Oh, I will do. If I turn that down a touch, if that was true colours, you would see it a bit darker than what it is. But because I've got the bright lights, I've got studio lighting on, it's going to always flash it out a little bit. So it's just the case. It's how it goes. Let it bright lights it. And then you're like, ah, I'm blinding. <laughs> so what I'll do is I've started it off. That area there, I will literally just mimic side by side. So I'll continue. And anything I need to add deeper, I'll add as I go along. What also might be a, a good thing? Hold on. Um, where is it? I can't even think where I've put that now. Oh my! Why can't I find things? I can't find things when I need them. Never can. Never can. Um, but yes, it's going to be one of those that I'll do a little bit off screen, little one screen, little bit off screen, little one screen. Just otherwise we're going to be here 20 parts and that is not going to be how I want it to be. Um, but yeah, I'm going to work on um, doing that either side. So I'll just literally mimic... And then what I might do is work out the colours for the mountains base-wise so we can work on, like, this mountain. But we're going to put the add in a bucket of snow to this after. And these little mountain goes. So I've got to work out some colours before I came out. Um, so before I come back with it, I'll work out some more what we're going to do. But let me just check my emails. Because if I'm allowed to say I will, if not, I can't. Uh, hold on it's not my thing hold on hold on hold on um no she's not got that to me today okay so i'll have to let you know on the community tab i'm still streaming on saturday but there might be something else on saturday it still requires a stream <laughs> i still have to let you know about it but yes i'll work out some more colors as i go just um i'll be here on saturday but i might be also on a bit earlier on saturday so i will let you know for certain on the actual time now i'll just mimic that side to this side whilst i'm off screen just so you you know you know what's going on and i'll base the rest of that and work out the mountain colors yeah i can't say anything because in case i'm not allowed i've really uh, it's not my event um it's not an event as such it's more of a charity fundraising thing i'll let you know I'll let you know. But I'm going to say goodbye for today instead of sitting even longer. Just so I have to take it in the time it works for me. I'm so sorry. I would sit longer, but I know my limit. Uh, so I'll finish the rest of that half off screen. And then I'll come back on Saturday. But I've enjoyed sitting with you, as always. As always. But if I have some time in the week, um, I've got an upload as well to planned to film ah oh, thank you i miss i miss uh when i don't stream so i'm glad you all had a good weekend though oops i did i did the oven oh, that's what's done it <laughs> i said yesterday i was like I regret that <laughs> i regret it ah oh, thank you guys I have an amazing day wherever you are evening if you're like me in in the evening but 
have a good day wherever you are and I will see you Saturday look out on the community tab um, in the week ah. bye guys take care lots of love <laughs> take care bye